From the ALFRTS News Center in Washington, this is the Two Minute Report. I'm Gene Brink. On this edition, Gulf War illnesses. Medical researchers are looking at an antibiotic as a possible treatment for the illnesses that continue to trouble some Gulf War veterans and puzzle their doctors. Defense Department health officials say these cases are frustrating because a veteran can describe symptoms. But on physical exam and on testing, uh, we don't get the sort of information that brings us to a diagnosis. And, and that's, that's a real dilemma in, in uh, medical care because physicians use diagnosis uh, traditionally to tailor treatment. Uh, so if you don't have a diagnosis, you don't know what to do for the patient. The antibiotic in question is called doxycycline. Army Sergeant Mike Wetzel explains. Doxycycline is effective against a bacteria called mycoplasma. Dr. Engel says some research points to mycoplasma as a possible cause of Gulf War illnesses. And some veterans reported relief from symptoms after taking doxycycline. So the Defense Department and Department of Veterans Affairs are starting the first large-scale study in which veterans will take the antibiotic for their undiagnosed illnesses. It represents an opportunity to, uh, number one, look for a good, off-the-shelf, readily available treatment for many veterans who are ailing with chronic symptoms. Uh, so it provides an answer, potentially. And if the antibiotic is not the answer, it won't, won't be proof, but it would be some compelling information uh, that perhaps uh, symptoms are not being caused by this organism. So Colonel Engel says the study results, positive or negative, will be useful to the scientific community and to Gulf War veterans. Gene? Thanks, Mike. More than 400 Gulf War veterans will participate in the antibiotic study. That's the Two Minute Report. From Washington, I'm Gene Brink. On Two Minute Plus, get more information on the antibiotic treatment research by calling the Gulf War Health Center at Walter Reed Army Medical Center. Here's their number. And for all the latest news on Gulf War illnesses, go to GulfLink, the Defense Department's official website on Gulf War illnesses. Here's the address.